thank you. What did we learn today? Now, I've been in teaching for over 20 years now, and I've seen a lot of different ideas and innovations come and go. And about 10 years or so ago, I was driving my car into work, and I turned on the radio. Just as I turned it on, there was an interview on the radio. And there was a politician, I think, had just said, I know what works in education. We know what helps children learn. And I thought, really? What is it? And the interviewer said, really? What is it? And the politician said, singing. And I thought, singing? Really? Singing what? And the interviewer said, singing? Really? Singing what? And the politician said, everything. Sing everything. If you sing to children, they will learn better. So when I arrived at school, I thought, oh, wow, well, if this is the answer, I really can't sing, but I'd better do it. So I went into the classroom and I said to the children, we all sat around and I said, now, class, I know what works in education. I know how to help you learn better. And they said, really? What is it? And I said, singing. And they said, singing? Really? Singing what? And I said, everything. They went, oh, everything. So we did. We had to go. We started off our math session and we did our maths. What's 39? Take away eight. Carry this. Through the day. And we sang our maths. We did our geography. Here's a volcano in the magma chamber. Up comes the lava out of the crater. Brilliant. Then they started singing literally everything. Can I go to the toilet? Like, no, you can't. Let me go. We will not let you go. Let me go. We will not let you go. <laughs> By the end of the day, I was exhausted. <laughs> but the big question is then, did it work? Was the politician right? And the honest answer is, I don't know. I don't know whether it worked or not. Do you know, it felt like it did. Because we had such a good time, it felt like the students were engaged. It felt like the relationships with the students were better. It felt like they were more focused somehow on their work. But I don't really know if it worked or not. So when I came in the next day and I thought, that was so tiring, I can't do that again, I didn't. And in fact, I never did it again. And actually now, I regret that. And what I regret is not that I didn't do it again, but I regret not knowing whether I should have done it again or not. I wish I'd asked, what did we learn today? I, I wish I'd asked, what did we learn as a class? What did I learn as a teacher? What did you learn as an individual? What might my colleagues have learned from this? And actually, I wish I'd had a colleague come into the classroom and watch the effect of that approach on the students. Now, notice I say come in and watch the effect on the students, not come in and watch me. I don't want feedback about what I did. But I know what I did. What I want feedback about is what was the impact on the students that I was teaching through that approach? Without that feedback, how do I really know the impact that I'm having? And how do I know the impact of those new ideas? Graham Nuttall talks about the hidden classroom. And he says that around 80% of what goes on in a classroom, the teacher knows nothing about. The conversations that students have, the questions they ask each other, their understandings, their misunderstandings, the questions that they ask. We don't know anything about those. If I'm teaching, I'm thinking about my teaching. If I'm talking to a group over here, I don't know what's happening over here. If I had some access to that hidden 80%, and I can just make that 80% a little bit smaller, having another pair of eyes in the classroom might be able to tell me, when you ask that question, these students reacted this way. When you set that piece of work, these students were really challenged by that and really wanted to find out an answer. 
These students were asking this question and want to investigate it more. These students love the way you approach learning that way. If I can get feedback like that about my impact, how much better is my teaching going to be? Because I can now make more informed decisions about what to do next for my students. I suppose the reason that I'm telling you this story now is because although it happened a long time ago, you can tell that from looking at the picture of me on there, it's happened a long time ago. That's me on the right, by the way, if you're wondering. My right. The reason I'm telling you this now is I was in the supermarket, in my local supermarket, and I'd come up with my trolley and I was emptying out my fruit and vegetables onto the conveyor belt. I'm saying fruit and vegetables, I'm trying to pretend I'm all healthy here, really, but I'm putting all my fruit and vegetables out onto the conveyor belt, and the cashier said, Mr. Renton? Yeah? You know when you can feel everybody turning to look at you, and go, who's this Mr. Renton fellow that we're talking about? And he said, you used to teach me. And I said, oh, right. Can't quite remember, you know, you look so different now, but did, did we? And we had a conversation while we were putting the chopping through about what he's been doing, where he was, when we taught which school we were in. And he said, do you know, I never really liked school. I never really engaged. I misbehaved a lot. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I thought, yeah, I'm starting to remember you a little bit better now. And he said, I don't remember anything from my school days, except for one day. Guess which day? The day we sang. He said, I remember that day, it was just brilliant. He said, I learned so much. I even remember the volcano stuff we did that day. <laughs> he said, and now, when I have to remember things, I sing it to myself. He set up my schedule for staffing. I know what times my shift are because I sing it through in my head each week. I know where things go in which aisle in the supermarket because I sing it through in my head. I've got my own raps and songs to help me remember. Now, I wish I'd had that feedback at the time. Because if I knew that at the time, if I knew I'd had that impact on that child at the time, it would have been worth, even if it was exhausting, to continue doing singing sometimes, because it makes a difference. But I didn't have that feedback at the time. I didn't know. As I was walking away from the supermarket, with all my bags, and walking out, Mr. Renton! And at this point, the whole supermarket turns to look at me. And he said, are you still a terrible singer? Thank you. Some things haven't be changed with your behavior there. So that's, that's the same. So actually, what I want you to consider is what's the impact that you have on your students every day? What's the effect of what you try? When you try anything with your students, what did we learn from it? And I would ask you to invite somebody into your classroom or into your school, into your workplace or your organization. Someone who can collaborate with you. Someone who can observe, who can listen in, who can see the impact of what you do and then reflect on it with you. Because if we can have that kind of professional dialogue together, then perhaps we can make more meaningful decisions about what to do next and talk more meaningfully about what did we learn today. Thank you for listening to my presentation.